Now let's move on to the base. And for this one, we wanted you guys to make the base tone. Uh, and hopefully this also shows you sort of the, the bar, the standard for what a good base DI should actually be. Because it's what, that's what I was aiming for at least was to try and capture the cleanest and, and you know, well edited bass performance for this song. Let me, uh... They're wondering if you didn't need rooms for this. Uh, for the drums? Yeah. No. Just the snare room, that's it. Cool. Yeah, just the snare room. Printed into the cymbals. That's what I thought. Yeah, there was, uh, there was some rooms already in the cymbal track. But you'll notice there's no drums in the, in the cymbals, right? So, it's just overheads and, and room mics for the cymbals, like, all meshed into one. Uh, I wanna, I'm curious if you have, let's see how I wanna do this bass. Um, well, first of all, you know what we're, what we're gonna do. We're gonna duplicate it. Surprise. <laughs> um, now, one thing that sucks about this is that I think the bass is a little bit pitchy. So we are gonna maybe put some auto-tune on here. Show them how to tune bass, that's cool. Some I, Something that every engineer should know how to do, in my opinion. I just go bass instrument tracking on, on 100 and retune speed zero. That's it. Thing is, you gotta put it on both bass tracks. Okay, let's, let's relax it a bit. Try 50. It's having trouble detecting the octave. Um, let's see. I could try instrument instead of bass instrument. And let's try retune speed 10. No, nah, it's not gonna work. Um, let's see if you have a different pitch correction plugin. Do you know what's on here? Um, it's hard to say because uh, AAX versus RTAS and all that has changed oh, yeah. so many times. Um, and I don't remember what I've installed as VSTs. I know that I own Melodyne, and I know that I own Autotune Evo, and I believe I mean, that Waves Tune got removed. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things we could do. I mean, we could open it up in here, go into Vary Audio, go into Pitch and Warp. It does its little analyzing thing, and we try and like select all the events and quantize the pitch and straighten it out. When you do this though, it's just like, there's a lot of bitch work involved because you need to go and babysit every single note basically. Like, why isn't there any tracking here? <laughs> uh, you know, what is that? What's this thing? Like, so I, I typically don't like to go that route because it's just, uh, it's just not going to be good. So let me, uh, let me uh, undo that stuff. You can tell I don't use this very much because I don't know the first thing about finding it. Oh, uh, okay. Didn't I don't think it kept it. Oh yes, it did. Uh, reset. Here we go. I don't think that there's a Pro Tools equivalent for that that I know of. 
That's pretty cool. Uh, I need to remove everything. I think it did. Well, shoot, I don't know how to do that. That's interesting. Uh, let's re import the file. That's not the right one, is it? There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I don't have the right plugin that I need to do this properly, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll deal with it. We'll just leave it loose, loosey goosey. Um, let me sh actually build this tone without the du duplicate track trick. Do you have Pod Farm on here? Yes, I do. Okay, just gotta find it. Platinum, baby. Um, Pod Farm. I feel like. Oh, line six. There we go. Yeah, you've used it on this computer. Pod farm guitar amps. But I don't think, nah, it's not what I want. Let's do pod farm. I wonder if you have what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a bass amp. Ah, here we go. Okay. little bit of uh, light pitch correction on here. Oh, I see Melodyne. Let's try that. Never. They're saying that Melodyne is great for bass in yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, the only thing that sucks is that... Uh, oh. Damn. The only thing that sucks is that it uh, takes a while to to scan everything. Is this the right thing? Looks like it. Okay, I think I hit transfer. Doesn't Oh, okay. Got it. I see. You have seen. Yeah, by the way, I don't use Melodyne, guys, so this is going to be cool. Oh, it looks like it's in, it's not in like a, it's like in a drum mode or something. It's not in a musical mode. Here we go. Okay. Let's just verify that this is actually doing something. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Correct pitch. Someone says change the mode. Yeah, I did that. Mm. 
That's too slow. <laughs> um, anyway, you get the point. Scan your bass and correct the pitch. Let's just try their automatic uh, thing they got here. Correct pitch. You know, pitch center should be 100%. Pitch drift. Probably put 100%. Um, can you get it any tighter than that? I want it to be like straight lines. If anyone, if anyone watching knows how to do that, it would be cool. Anyone there know how to do straight lines? Because it's like still squiggly. got 100%. Maybe that's what keeps it sounding a little bit. Right click, Z, pitch shift, double click. Right click. Oh, I see. There's uh, pitch modulation. Double click automatically sets it. Uh, man, that's. There we go. Just select all and double click. So, I, I, yeah, Command A and then double click sets it all. Then you can change the percent right here. I'd probably do like not 100%. Or is it not 0%, but like 50%? Yeah. And then make sure you've got things in the right note, of course. Oops. And then if I want to, okay, cool. Whoa, that looks like pretty wild there. So, ask, let's, guys, let me know if you want me to do this for the whole song or you get the point you want me to do more mixing yeah stuff. do you guys want him to do this for the whole song or do you want him to get to mixing because i would if i was mixing this song and the bass was like that it was given to me that way i would i would totally tune it because that's going to affect my mix like if the bass isn't in tune with the guitar they get they get the point they okay said. okay cool so I'm actually not going to leave that on. I'm just going to turn it off, and we're going to just deal with the pitch the way it is. Uh, but you saw how quickly I made that bass tone. I mean, it's not complicated. It's just this. I mean, that's, that's it. Now, I don't consider a compressor part of my tone. So compress. I'm going to add some compression, but that's not, in my mind, that's not part of my tone. That's just my... Uh, my way of like getting it to go into the song and I'm going to do it against the drums Does that? I don't know. That's 
that's it. Uh, pretty basic.